find a percent of an amount using the 1% method. It is a truth universally acknowledged that different people have different ways of thinking. What makes sense to one person might confuse someone else. So here's a different method that may help you find a percent of an amount. Let's say I have to find 6% of 27. Maybe that looks a bit tricky. Don't worry, it isn't. Let me show you how. First, we're going to find 1% of 27. 1% is the same as 100 times 27. I put that over 1 and now I've got a simple fractions multiplication. This comes out to 27 divided by 100. I showed you this working to prove this end part to you. When you find 1% of 27 though, you don't need to bother doing all this working out on paper. You can just go straight to 27 divided by 100. And I can give you some other examples for your notebook right now. For example, 1% of 39 would be 39 divided by 100. 1% 1 of 142 would be 142 divided by 100. You get the idea. And of course, you know how to divide by 100. In any whole number, you can imagine the decimal point to the right of the ones digit, invisible until you need it. When you divide by 100, you need to move the decimal point to the left, two places. 1% 1 of 27 is 0 0.27. We have to find 6% though, so now we are going to multiply by 6. 6 7s are 42, 6 2s are 12, plus the 4 is 16, 162. We have two decimal figures in the problem, so we need two decimal figures in the answer. 1.62. Think about it. 10% of 27 would be 2.7. Our answer of 1.62 sounds about right for 6%. And it is right. If you like this method, use it. And look at this. When I compare this 1% strategy with the method I usually use, I would say 6% is the same as 6 hundredths. As a decimal, that is 0 0.06. And I multiply that by 27. I'm multiplying the same numbers so I get the same answer. Both problems have two decimal figures, both give the same result. Nice. Remember, there's more than one approach to success with math and percentages are no different. Whatever strategy makes sense to you and you find successful, use it. That's it for now. See you soon on Let's Do Math.